We're using uh, cream switches, but they're like the broken in ones, so whipped creams. Elysium's Greek Afterlife? Is it actually? I didn't know that. Like in Greek mytholo mythology, it's Greek? Or it's, uh, it's Elysium? I actually didn't know that, dude. That's actually kind of crazy. One of three. Oh, maybe that's why I didn't know. Where warriors and heroes go when they die? Why did I think that was something else in Greek mythology? Oh, I learned something. Dude, Greek mythology is actually really cool. Um, okay, I don't actually know which color is which in these boxes. So, this is the burgundy one. <coughs> the burgundy is kind of hot. Ooh. Ooh, dude. This 10 of 14 Probably. is not gonna be here for you guys, by the way. This is for like their friends and family units. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, I like I like the design of this in person more than I did like looking Alex. at it on pictures. Love catching Sunday streams. Dude, Alex Mark, of dude. Love. Hope you're doing good. Guys, thank you so much for all the subs. I really do appreciate it. So we top, I got you with the hydrate. You sound under the weather. I've been sounding under the weather for like two weeks. Look at that side profile too. What's really nice is this is like it's just a small cut. It's not quite like a koala curve, but it does really reflect the light really nicely. Dude, this is beautiful. Like legitimately, I don't know if I can show like, look at these curves. That's beautiful. What a beautiful weight too. This is 265. Dude, I don't understand how this is 265. I guess, you know what it is? It's probably because it's one piece. That probably makes more sense. It's one piece construction. Without a PCB, that's true. That is true too. That is very true too. I guess I'm looking at the size of this brass weight. Very pretty though. Inset USB-C, which is awesome to see. Yeah, I have to admit, O-ring keyboards usually are great value. Honestly, the cutoff corners to the feet is a vibe. Yeah, dude, this is something I pointed out the other night. How many keyboards we see with this design? Because someone saw this design in chat the other night and was like, oh, this is too much like the unicorn. But there's so many keyboards that share this exact same, like they cut off the weight corners to do it. It's nice. The wrist rest is right here. We'll open that up later. Uh, let's actually grab the other unit for a second. All right, we got our O-rings. This is looking very, uh, looking very thematic for Halloween. Never mind January. This is kind of looking like October. You guys have to give it to me. That was a pretty good one. All right, let's take a look at this one. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Our plate, our PCB. Uh, I don't think anything else is in here. Oh, daughter board, and is there a cable? Hi Alex, in case you didn't uh, catch it, the way it's made of copper. Oh, is it made of copper? That is my mistake. I thought it was brass, even nicer. Honestly, I love copper This weights. keyboard looks great. Not quite as dense as brass, I believe, but they still have a very beautiful sound profile. So copper weight, my mistake. Oh. Damn. The smoked polycarb's kind of hitting diff though. The smoked polycarb's kind of hitting diff. You can really see the weight beautifully underneath too. Is copper denser than brass? I actually was told it was the other way around. Is dude, that's actually cool. I didn't know that. I don't know like densities and shit. I learned something. I learned two things today. What Elysium was and copper is denser than brass. I'm looking at uh, some other stats on the uh, website here. Is it slightly denser? That's kind of cool. Um, so with this particular unit. Let me just quickly pull up some stats. It's six degree typing angle. Uh, we will be building the PC version today. The plate is 1.5 mil. Uh, and I'm not too sure what the thickness of the PCB is. I'm pretty positive it's just standard 1.6. Because it is a high knee PCB and I don't know if high knee's made a thinner PCB. February waiting room. Hey, listen. I'm allowed to be, I'm allowed to be dumb bro, I'm sick. I've been fiending for a polycarb top plus alu bottom board. Ah, oh, like a mix match. Uh, this is a high knee PCB. 
this is a Heine PCB. I don't know the exact model number of this particular one, but it is Heine PCB, it is solderable. You guys wanna look at the wrist rest now? The wrist rest, uh, Rudy, am I allowed to say the price of the wrist rest? This is just looking at it. There's no like finalization to this, okay guys? Here, we'll look at it now. Whoa! This is sick. Hey, if I never stream again after this, I, te I disappear. It might be because of this, uh, this cool wrist rest. I mean, this looks pretty damn flawless. It, it has like the same, that's kind of cool. It has like the same styling as the keyboard, that small little cut on the side. It does have like these beautiful curves on the front where it's a little bit more exaggerated on the back. It's literally the keyboard button wrist rest form. That is cute. Um, is it actually? Oh, fuck. It, it, it is heavier than the keyboard unbuilt. I don't have like the exact numbers for y'all, but can you flip with, oh yeah, yeah, here's the, here's the, the board too. <laughs> Haven't gotten there yet. Sorry if I still, still sound sick guys, cause I, cause I am. We also have an O-ring that's denser. It's a 30 and a 50A. Um, these are measured in drummer. So we will be using the denser O-ring, the, the firmer O-ring today. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys again. I prefer uh, heavier O-rings in my boards. For whatever reason, I feel like they seal better. So, uh, well, okay, I know why they seal a little bit better because they're a little bit firmer so they don't squish into the PCB as much and they sit nicer. Uh, so I do prefer the firmer ones. I don't remember which color's which though. Uh, orange is 50A, that's it. Discovered you on YouTube uh, when you built the Tiger 80 Lite. Really enjoyed your content. Also, you made uh, me buy it. Hey, what's going on, Proffer? Rudy, you want to split backspace, right? I'm reading that right, right? Yeah, I actually like, Reagan, Reagan is kind of, kind of right. I kind of do like split backspace, but I feel like they only really look good in the 60s. I love split backspace 60s. I don't love a split backspace on a 65. All right, this is done. All right, quick recap on the board. Here is the side profile. I don't know if it's focusing nicely. Again, very, very, very pretty. Uh, I love this little curve here. Again, not quite a koala curve, but it's still really, really pretty. Love this, it looks really good. I love the shape of this keyboard a lot too. The curves make it look really, really nice. Great quality polycarbonate. Uh, the copper's also fantastic quality too. Again, the um, normal units will not come with these numbers here at the bottom. But look at that, look how nice the quality of the PC is. No scratching, no scuffing. Now, I, even though this is a, this is a uh, prototype, which is nice to see too. Yes, the wrist rest does have a weight. <laughs> All right, let's put this in. Let's actually unscrew these two. The tolerance is really, really, really tight. Yeah, they're perfect. All right, so you may have to file it or just use your flush cutters and get rid of some of that mouse bite. Not so much on the case, that's just a normal thing some of the PCBs. It's a very tight tolerance. Will they offer half plates? I don't think I saw a half plate offering. I absolutely love the look of seeing the weight through this, by the way. It's so pretty. That is so damn pretty, dude. What's the best way we're gonna put this in here? One thing I think you should add to the plate, Rudy, is a place to pull up on for the um, cable needs some, yeah, I think the cable's not sitting in the channel nicely. There we go. Cable is now sitting properly. Perfect. Ooh, that looks good with the PCB and everything now. Let's go. Okay. Um, somewhere to add to pull to pull up on this. I don't think I saw anywhere. Maybe that's the only criticism I do have is on the plate. Just adding somewhere to grab it with uh, these. 
What O-ring was most enjoyable for the sequence? The heavier O-rings. I think at one point I was like, oh, lighter O-ring makes more sense. But I've been actually leaning towards heavier O-rings myself. RGB is not terribly visible, but let's just swap it anyways. And I need to also switch to layout. Let's take another look at this keyboard really quick, shall we? Top down view with the purple RGB. Ooh, that's looking pretty. That is looking sweet. So it's like a reflection of my light here. Ignore that. That is looking really pretty though, guys. Hard to go wrong with a nice O-ring keyboard. All right, I'm not gonna use the wrist rest to type. I, I'm not good with wrist rests. All right, here we go. Uh, NK cream switches, they're broken in um, with 67 gram springs, was it? 62 gram uh, TX long springs. Aluminum plate 50A uh, O-ring. This is the January with the PC build. Let's see what this sounds like for y'all today. Ooh, hold on. I'm on the space bar. Space bar is fucking nice. Guys, it's literally just random letters I'm typing. Here's how fast I actually type. If I say, I love you. Just gonna trans transplant our PCB into this guy. My God, this color actually is gonna be offered in the Alu version. What other colors are there gonna be again? Let me look. Red, blue, I think that's a blue. I don't know if that's it. I think it's just red and blue, is it? Steel blue and red. I think that's all the colors. Red, blue, and PC, yeah. The blue's nice too. I think if I was to personally choose one, for the alu, it'd be the red. Personally, I'm still not quite uh, over my blue is boring phase. Did we get that? Is it in nice? It is. Oh, fuck. Is the alu nicer? I'm not gonna plug it in. We'll just. I like the alu more. I like the alphas more on this, but I, I like the space bar more on this. I like the alphas more on this one, spacebar way more on this one. I was just gonna say the channel for the, uh, this guy here. I don't know if it's possible to make this just a hair deeper. I see that you already have it cut in a little bit. I would perhaps like to see that a little bit deeper. It does seem like it's pressing up a little bit on the keyboard. Okay, we're good now. Yeah, the left was looking a little bit more lifted. We're good now though. This is looking uh, a lot more even. I think the space bar was good enough in here that I actually prefer the alphas. So I think if I was to personally pick one, I would pick the polycarb. But the alu has a really nice space bar. All right. So to conclude, keyboard is really nice. The overall design, beautiful. Simplicity, it's, a, it's an O-ring build. It works really nice. January, absolutely beautiful. Um, 
Honestly, not a bad price point once you consider everything with shipping. I'm assuming it'll be around 350, under 350. Really, really pretty. I think the overall design is beautiful. Um, if I could offer a suggestion, I think some, um, I know a lot of these O-ring boards tend to have this style of weight. I, I personally, I don't love this style. Again, this is a personal preference. I think I would like to see a cleaner weight without this just cut over here. I don't know why, I just like rectangle. I like the rectangle. It's very similar to the unicorn in terms of that too. There's a lot of these O-ring 60% that have this same weight style. I think just cutting it in, making a very square weight. The original Moon Tower also had this. With the newer Moon Tower, it was um, cut down. So it's smaller. Um, so I don't know, I kind of like it. Dif very different aesthetic. Kind of like how you have it here, just a square. I think that would have been even prettier. But again, different preferences. Really beautiful design overall though. Yeah, there's a lot of 60s with that. Really beautiful design, got that subtle curve on the side that really catches light really nicely. And again, just big, big, big curves for the uh, front and back over here too. Really, really pretty. Um, do you prefer the alu board or the PC? I think I do prefer the, uh, the PC in this case. I think the polycarbonate's really pretty. Yeah, I, I just think um, that's the only thing. And then the cable channel, I think just making it slightly deeper might be my only actual criticism for this, just so it doesn't get snagged. I also, I don't know if this is possible too. The cable channel also seems like it's sitting a bit high. I don't know if you guys see that too. Um, perhaps bringing down the cable channel a bit. Cause it seems like it has a lot of empty wasted space up here. And then it kind of just sits along this shelf on the bottom. So perhaps bringing it down a little bit would be the, the only thing that I would suggest doing. Um, that would be it. That's like my only actual criticism with this. These, these boards are not tough to like put together. So it's really easy to do. Keyboard starts at 265. You need a PCB. So you have to keep that in mind. I like it. It's a nice keyboard, very solid. No real big complaints other than the cable channel being a little bit finicky. I think it's really beautiful. I think the price point's pretty good too for something that's a little bit more on the higher end for these type of keyboards. Like, again, I'm just gonna ballpark it about 350 all in with the PCB and with shipping. Not awful. Enjoy your nights. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Thank you guys for the subs, the support you guys give. See you guys in Discord. I don't know what's for lunch. I'm gonna go, we're gonna go discuss that now. See you guys, love you. Peace out everyone. Enjoy the rest of your days.